So we have Drew Gregory in this morning, and you have released a new single to radio. So what's that one called? I have. It's called Better in a Bar. And what's that all about? <laughs> if you can't guess, it's uh, no. I've uh, I've always loved, I guess, just being around people, and in good times and bad, it's just a um, bit of a, an extrovert, and, and like being in crowds and stuff. And I guess it's just uh, going through a bad time, maybe just needing to get out of the house and see some people, and uh, that's kind of where this song came from. And then when did you write this one? This would have been maybe late 2017, I think, because, yeah, we just had taken the last kind of writing trip. It was the last uh, last minute writing trip to uh, kind of get a couple more songs, hopefully for the album that we ended up uh, recording it in January. So, yeah, it would have been about November 2017. And when you say writing trips, where do you guys go to do your writing? Go down to Nashville, which I'm going to right away again here. So, yeah, it's uh, it's kind of just a hub for, I mean, it'd be nice if there's something in Canada, but it's also nice to get south this time of year, too, so I <laughs> won't complain too much. <laughs> I but, gonna, yeah. gonna say get on a plane and be like, bye, yeah, yeah. suckers. <laughs> it's, if Nashville could move to, like, Florida or uh, Mexico or something, that'd be even better. But, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's just a great hub, a great... Um, inspirational town too i mean there's so much music everywhere there but uh yeah a lot of a lot of writers a lot of the amazing writers just seem to live there and then um even canadians like a lot of canadians move down there aaron goodman who i wrote this song with uh lives down there and so when i go down we usually get together a couple times too so it's uh it's the place to be and then how long do you get to head down there for uh, a couple weeks i used to go for like when i was first going it was like two or three months at a time and uh (laughs) Yeah, I uh, I got the family and stuff now, so don't want to be gone away from home quite as long, but uh, maybe a few more trips, but uh, yeah, never more than 10 days, two weeks kind of thing, just kind of jam as much in as I can in a short amount of time. So you can do your writing, like you do some of your writing here, just you, and yeah. then kind of go down there and collaborate a little yeah, bit. Yeah, absolutely, yeah, kind of, I, I always like to start ideas or, you know, bring something to the table when I'm going into a, a writing room with some of these uh, bigger name writers that have, have done some some hits for some some pretty big people, so it's, uh, you want to be the, the young guy bringing, bringing the good stuff in, so uh, yeah, it's, it's paid off, I've got some great songs in that town. And so how do you decide? So you've recorded your album, you've got all your songs on there, and you guys released No Good, which, of course, blew up and went all over the place, which <laughs> yeah. is great. Yeah. And how do you decide on what you release as a single? Yeah, it's it's always a lot of, a lot of chatting. I mean, um, there's definitely songs on the album that uh, I put on an album just knowing right away that they're going to be, this is probably just going to be an album cut, but it's, uh, you know, some of the more meaningful stuff, maybe some slower songs, uh, some more powerful lyrics that uh, aren't always right for radio so um you know gotta have those songs that's why i've always loved doing albums but uh yeah i would say for the most part this uh there's five or six songs on this album that were all pretty high energy all, all would have been good for for country radio and um yeah this one i've always just loved i feel like it's it's just suits my style so nicely i uh love that uh little edgier kind of uh, mm. heavier guitar stuff and and this one had that and just the lyric i thought was so strong uh, again writing with aaron goodwin he's an amazing lyricist he writes all his own stuff and uh, oh, okay. has written some amazing stuff for some other artists as well so um yeah just having him on it and uh doesn't hurt that uh, that he's doing so well right now and, <laughs> and his song just went number one here too and uh yeah. pretty proud of him too so um that uh maybe played a small factor not not everything but yeah i don't know we just uh really i guess then especially now it's it's probably harder i would say to pick a single before you release the album now that we've released the album we can kind of look at spotify numbers and see uh, what people are liking um you know all your streaming numbers and your sales yeah. and stuff and this was a, a pretty strong one there too so it was kind of a obvious choice when we put all those things together so that definitely is a help then when you guys make those choices because now you can kind of see what we're yeah focusing on and i guess they didn't have that you know 10, yeah. 15 years ago absolutely yeah it's nice to have those numbers and analytics and stuff and yeah. even to see you know, there, there's been where people are listening to and where we we, sh- we should be touring and stuff. It's uh, it's amazing what you can do with all the all the music on the internet these days. Yeah, I never really thought about being able to utilize it for you know to see like say where they are and who's listening and how often. And yeah, apparently there's that. I think I don't know if it was one of our songs got picked up on a playlist in like Kentucky or something. So <laughs> might have to go down there and play a show or hey, something. Hey, why not, right? <laughs> you bet. Well, that's good. So then we've got that song. We're gonna play that song for you guys in just a little bit. It's a really great song, and that was the one you came out and did the video for yeah over at legends and so when is the video 
hit the I come out. I think we're us. doing that on Friday here. So Excellent. yeah, pretty shortly. Um, yeah, just kind of another promotional tool for sure. But uh, yeah, it's awesome to have some some local people in that one, and uh, some family and stuff is yeah. in that one as well. So uh, it's fun doing that uh, at Legends. It's a uh, yeah, it's a fun fun little video we put together. Yeah, it's a good space for something like that. Like it was it great. Good, yeah. They were so accommodating to us. Uh, yeah, and uh, and so happy. Uh, thanks to everybody that came out as well. Excellent. Well, have fun on your trip down to Nashville. Thank you. And thank you very much for coming in and seeing us today. And we're going to get that song coming up right away. And uh, we'll probably play the bananas out of it for the next little while. (laughs) I think that's going to happen. Thank you so much. Thanks for all the support. Absolutely.